June 12th, Democracy Day. This is all you need to know that happened today. Let me explain. So the day started by the president addressing the nation by assuring the nation that he knows what is happening and is with them. The president also addressed the issue of minimum wage and this is what he said. We have negotiated in good faith and with open arms with organized labor on a new national minimum wage. We shall soon send our executive bill to the National Assembly to enshrine what has been agreed upon as part of our law for the next five years or less. After the president addressed the nation, a lot of Nigerians took it to the street to protest against the hardship in Nigeria. According to them, this democracy is not worth celebrating because democracy is not democracy at all, according to them. Before the protest started, there was heavy security men across all the locations that the protest supposed to happen. Regardless of the heavy security men out there, people still went ahead to protest against the hardship in the country. While the protest was going on across the nation, the president and other government officials were at Eagle Square celebrating the June 12th, the Democracy Day. While the celebration was going on, the president was seen on a ceremonial van waving people why people were shouting minimum wage, minimum wage. They were not responding to the president the way he was greeting them. Instead, they were representing shouting minimum wage, minimum wage. There was another fallout that happened at Eagle Square, which you were expecting me to say now. I will not say it. I will disappoint you at this one because of my policy. After that fallout happened at Eagle Square, the former presidential candidate of the Purple Democratic Party released this note. Read it yourself. Let me go read that for you. After Atiku Abubakar tweeted that tweet, Nigerians were sharing the video of Pito B smartly climbing staircase without falling. I don't know why they were sharing that video. Maybe you should tell me in the comment section. Remember in the morning while the president was giving his Democracy Day speech, he made mention that they have agreement on the minimum wage which they will submit to the National Assembly to approve. Towards the evening on the Democracy Day which is June 12th, the Labour Congress came out to say that they've never had any agreement with the president yet. In fact, they don't have any conclusion on the minimum wage yet. So the NLC, the Labour's are contradicting what the president said in the morning. No agreement yet. Still on the Democracy Day, the current Anambra State Governor Charles Soludo said that he has warned the President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu and the federal government not to promise any minimum wage that they cannot sustain, that higher minimum wage could crash the economy. Still on the Democracy Day, while the celebration was going on at Eagle Square, the largest pottery that has ever been in existence was revealed of Bola Ahmed Tunubu, which people got scared because the portrait was actually scary. According to people that was there, I was not there. Look at the portraits. So Nigerians, this is all that happened on June 12th, Democracy Day in Nigeria. If I missed anything, please add it to the comment section. Remember to enjoy your weekend. Thank you.